Okay, part C on page 234 has to do with what's called the standard form of an equation. Now, a standard form, let me go ahead and write it on here before I explain the purpose or lack thereof. I mean, you just, you don't use it a ton, but it's called the standard form. When my x is first, my y is second, a, b, and c represent numbers. Doesn't matter what numbers. So... Um, it's used mainly to uh, write an equation free of fractions. That's pretty much all you would use it for. So, for example, if we had y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1, and you wanted to write that so it didn't have a fraction, um, what we would do is we'd multiply this whole thing by 3, and this side by 3, so we have 3y equals negative 6 over 3x plus 3. And that would be 3y equals negative 2x plus 3. And we're going to bring the 2x over with the y. So we'd have 2x plus 3y equals 3. That is the standard form of an equation. So no fractions there, and uh, it's in that format. Now, very difficult to graph it, so therefore when it is in that form, you usually want to take it back to the slope-intercept form, but I did want to make you familiar with it, so if you see it, you know that it is the standard form of an equation. So given the equation of a line, this is example six, given the equation of a line that goes through the point negative one, four, we don't know what that line looks like. All we know is that we went over two and up four, and there's a line that goes through that. We don't know if it's like this or like this or like, you know, we don't, we have no idea what that line looks like. All we know is it goes through that point negative one, four. Okay, so if that's the case, the rest of example six says the graph is perpendicular to the graph of two, whoops, let me get black, 2x minus y equals negative three. It's perpendicular, that symbol there means perpendicular. So, perpendicular to that, write the answer in standard form. All right, so give the equation of the line that goes through this that is perpendicular to this. So first of all, what I would do is I would rewrite the equation they gave you in slope-intercept form. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides, and that gives me negative y equals negative 2x minus 3. And remember what I said, if this is negative, you just change the signs of everything. Okay, and now we have y equals 2x plus 3. If you want to know why we can change this, it's because there is actually a, well, let me erase the plus here. Let's just kind of do it just so you know why I'm doing that and that it makes sense. Okay. So the reason you can do that is because there's a 1 here, correct? We have a number being multiplied by the y, so we're going to divide both sides by that number. And when we divide both sides by that negative, this turns into a positive, this turns into a positive, and this turns into a positive. So that's the explanation why you do it. And all you need to know is that you can do it. So here is the equation in slope-intercept form that tells me um, how to graph that. The y-intercept is 3, so the b is 3, and the m, the slope, is 2, or 2 over 1. Now remember what I told you a couple sections ago. The perpendicular line to this right here is 
this turned upside down with its opposite sign. So right now, our perpendicular line that they're asking us to draw that's perpendicular to this is going to have a slope of negative one-half. Okay? So that makes it easy. We know that's negative one-half. But what is our y-intercept? We don't know. So in order to find the y-intercept, we use this point-slope formula that I had brought up before that looks like this. If you remember, whoops, I've got it backwards, don't I? Okay, x minus x1. Okay, just as long as they're in the right order there, I'm good to go. All right, so I'm going to use this formula because this formula is going to give me the information that I need. So let's plug in the information that we know into this equation, and we will come up with some magic here. So we're going to do y minus this 4 right here equals m. We already found that it's negative 1 half. Oops, I don't know why I have a an x there, but negative one-half. And then we're going to have x. So notice this y1 we replaced with 4. So this x1 we're going to replace with negative 1. Okay. And then these will change to positives. So let me just erase one of these positives so that we don't get confused there. Okay, so what I did is I just plugged in the negative 1 here, the 4 here, the negative 1 half here because it's perpendicular, so it's no longer 2, it's negative 1 half. And now I'm going to multiply things across. But first of all, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in, it's asking me to put it in standard form. Well, I have a fraction. Remember I told you to get rid of the fraction? That would give a standard form. So I'm going to multiply absolutely everything by 2. So I multiply 2 times y minus 4. And 2 times negative 1 half. And I don't multiply this 2 times this and then this. I just multiply it by this, just so that this side over here has one chance to have it multiplied by 2. Okay. So 2y minus 8 equals negative 1 times x plus 1, which if we distribute that negative 1, we get that. Okay, so this is kind of a pain, isn't it? We'll add 8 to both sides. Add x to both sides. So all that extra work I did all the way from here was just to get it in standard form, which is what they wanted us to do. Okay, so we could have left it in slope-intercept form, and it would have been easier, but they wanted it in standard form, so that's why you have to rewrite it this way and put the point that they gave you in for one of the y's. It doesn't matter which one, whether it's this y or this y but it's easier to put it second. So the 4 went there, negative 1 went here. Our slope that we found of negative 1 half went here. So we have it written this way. And then to get rid of the fraction, that's why we put it in standard form. We multiplied everything by its denominator, got rid of the fraction, and then that gave us um, a nice clean answer. It just took forever to get there. 
All right, so that is um, 3.3.